Coming up on T minus five minutes in three, two, one. T minus five minutes and counting. APU start. TLT OTC perform APU start. CDR OTC reconfigure heater. Solid rocket booster safe and arm devices are now being armed. Next milestone is a check of the orbiter's flight controls. TLS is going for purge sequence four. And there will be a steering check of Atlantis's three main engines. Find now that the main engines are in their start position. TLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. Starting now the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the vent hood. Clear caution warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. Fuel cells going to internal. Storm plane camera being activated at this time. OTC, PLT. No unexpected errors. Copy that. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. T minus two minutes. Yellow is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Go for main engine start. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DPDT. Go at throttle up, no action on DPDT. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required.
atlantis now fifteen miles in altitude already sixteen miles down range from the kennedy space center one minute forty seconds into the flight atlantis flexing its muscles one final time atlantis traveling almost twenty six hundred miles an hour twenty one miles in altitude twenty four miles down range standing by for solid rocket booster separation Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight. Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, Ops 3. Single engine, Ops 3. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis press to Miko. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Nominal. Fergie, go the plus X, go the pitch. Nominal shut down plan, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of, of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following main engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. So, Ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary Ohms 2 TIG, 37 minutes. 37 minutes. Uh, no Ohms 1 required. Thanks.